welcome viewer Monday Morning Racer here about to go green we have got the remainder of this lap one more go around then we will get the green flag here at Lakeland Florida USA International Speedway in the gearhead coffee street stalker on I racing we've got 40 laps with a bunch of rookies I'm still very much a rookie though I do have my D class oval license and by the way, eventually we'll be going further into other types of cars and races, but this is some of the easiest things to step into right now on iRacing with just having the basic setup. And before we go green, definitely wanted to be at a live event at Fayetteville Speedway in North Carolina, but that did not work out with all the rain we've had in the Carolinas here. We are green. Got a car to the inside. And he is on by. I get a little bit of a run coming out of two, but we're going to let him go on and we're going to try to get settled in for 40 laps. Definitely have had some good races right here at this track, in this car. Already got one spinning around, had to check up for that. And we got more wrecks. Wow. Woo! It can get interesting, folks. It amazes me that people just do not come in to the race. You've got 40 laps. Be calm. Be cool. Get settled out. Start picking people off one by one. Hopefully I can do that right now. Get settled in. Get a rhythm. Start moving ahead. Seventeen, overdriving the corner, making my, making myself the fourteen be a little cautious, be a little slower than him. I definitely do not think overdriving the corner here at USA International Speedway helps at all. You really want to roll the center, get back on the gas, get a run coming off. It seems to me. But we're settled in now. We click off some laps, follow the 14. I racing has definitely been a lot of fun when you get in with a group that they want to do just that. They want to race. And they want to simulate racing. They don't want it to be an arcade. They want to get in, they want to race, they want to have a good time. Uh, there's some bumping, there's some banging, but there's not wrecking. That's when it is fun. A little bit of a run on the 14. Let's see if we can keep it through three and four here. Right now, I'm definitely better in one and two, it seems like, than the 14. You gotta put it together, though, in three and four. I think the 14 just letting me go there. It's not a bad move. Let the faster guy go. Click off the laps, work on the I rating, work on growing the class, occasion number, and a letter. That 
brings us to sixth place. We're going number 17 here, see if we can crack the top five. Lightly tap the brakes, let the car roll down to the center and pick back up the throttle. That's what I try to do. Not get the rear tires coming around going into the turn. And Well, I like to be lower than I was just there in 3 and 4 as well. There are some guys that are running, you know, 23 1s and 23 2s. And not sure how they are doing that. Nonetheless, I've got a decent race pace to be able to finish top five. Uh, have been able to win and have been able to finish top three several times. you got to factor in attrition. Qualifying isn't everything. Someone might be able to finish on the pole, but that doesn't mean that they're going to be the fastest through the race. Let's see, look at this. 17's trying to block. It's not going to do him any good. And this is one of those cases, look. If, if the guy is faster, and you cannot handle and maintain your car, let the guy go. And I'm about to get underneath him. And trying to block. Oh my goodness. Well, well, we'll work our way around them. And goes blocking again. Okay. The 17 will eventually make a mistake here. I'm not too worried. I am faster. I'll drive off the corner. Eventually and get underneath them. right down to the low side to block again. So predictable. While this is happening, we are catching the two guys ahead of us. It's going to get very interesting when he decides to try to pass them, and I'm still trying to pass him. Good racing nonetheless. Really wish he wasn't blocking though. Oh well. So, the good thing is, I just didn't tear up a real race car. It's a electronic race car, so that's that's great. And so so no problem there. And now I just need to get back in a rhythm.
But that was dirty. He's been blocking the whole time. I nudged him, get out of the way, give him plenty enough time to say, hey, I'm faster, you need to let me by. And then he decides to hook me. And not even hook me, he comes down in front of me. How ridiculous is that? There he is, wrecked. He got what he deserved. And that's what's going to happen. I mean, you block people and they are actually faster, they're going to move. They're going to move you. We got 14 laps to go. I'm here at 11. Let's see if we can improve. It's hard to come off of two with someone on your outside here. It's, it's, it's tough. It's not the easiest thing to do. Oh, sold it high there. Ten laps to go. Would like to crack into the top ten. back to the 16. Let's see if we can complete the pass this time. He's not able to turn the car now. I don't know. Maybe the tires were affected in the spin. This does not want to roll down to the center as it was. Yeah, I think, I think that spin hurt my tires. Just it will not get down to the center of the corner like it was in the beginning.
Five laps to go. And just, at this point, try to maintain 11th, maybe through attrition up ahead of us. We'll be able to pick up a few other positions, but just the car does not want to roll down into the center like it was. Oh, look at that. That's unfortunate for the guy that was ahead of me. And yeah, another guy blocking. Just ridiculous. All right, green flag. Folks, I think we finished ninth, barely edged out the 10th place guy, even though he was blocking and trying to protect the position, though he was so much slower, was able to go in high and come down low and barely beat him to the line. Actually driving instead of blocking, was able to pick up a position. Imagine that. So here we are, start of the race, following the number 14. Things got interesting very quickly as you're about to see people were getting spinned out there were a few wrecks terrible to see it happens though again it amazes me just get in settled in oh we got a flip there flip going in turn three i barely get by it and now i'm thinking to myself okay we can settle in and we can go racing but, lo and behold, that is not the case for me because I'm going to be coming up on someone that is a knucklehead of a driver, slower than myself and many others in the field, obviously. But instead of actually trying to drive faster or have some skill, they just want to block. Let's get to that point. So here I am behind the 14. He lets me go. He realized I was faster. He realized I was gaining on him. He lets me go so that he can race his race. That's a smart move. We're about to see someone that doesn't desire to make smart moves, though. All right, I'm catching the 17. He's driving in too hard. I'm rolling it in, coming off better in the turns than he is. I'm there. I'm catching. As you can see, though, he's already blocking. He's already protecting the inside. So, we're going to ride here with myself, racing the number 17. Again, wild, swerving, blocking, a threat to hook himself on my nose. So I try to the outside, just give him a few different looks. And I'm patient with him. I keep showing him that I'm faster. I keep showing him that I'm wanting to go to the inside. All he does, he keeps blocking just like that. That's going to get you wrecked. I'm surprised it didn't. I'm surprised I didn't wreck him just not reacting good enough. So he is in fact slower. I'm right there with him. Give him a little nudge there. Wasn't even on purpose. Just he slowed up in the corner. Now the 14 is caused. Now the Oreo car street stalker is catching up to us. Why? Because the 17 is just that much slower. 
we're not done yet. The 17 is about to show in a few laps just how dirty of a driver he is in fact. Again, there he is. He got he got in too hot into turn three. I gain on him coming out of the turn four on the front stretch. Now diving into turn one. I'm trying to figure out what's going to be the best way to get around him. I'm right there. Could have already moved him. Could have already wrecked him. But I don't want to drive like that. I try to get a good run, and he just comes down the block. Just blocking, riding the low line. And when you're in a situation like this, the challenging thing is you don't want to wreck the guy, but you don't want him to wreck you and mess up your race, which is what happens in a few moments. He just decides to wreck me because I give him a nudge. I'm like, get out of my way. I've gave you plenty enough time, and he just comes down and knocks me in the wall. Now, I nudged him. I bumped him. I moved him up out of the way, coming up out of the turn. You're slower, get out of the way. And then he just comes down and wrecks me. That is dirty. Now I get back here with the 16 and the 8, trying to race these guys. I really think the car was not necessarily damaged. Maybe the tires were affected in the spin because I just wasn't able to roll the car down into the center and pick back up the throttle like I was before being thrown into the backstretch inside wall. We're going to go towards the end of the race and see action with, I believe it's the 16, and the car that's running at 10th right now. So the 16 gets under the 15 there just a little bit as they both went into the turn, and the 15 hooks the 16. Well, that causes everybody to check up. The 11 tries to go in. He gets wiped out by the 15. I'm still holding what is, at this point, 10th position. They're wrecking behind us. I'm thinking to myself, we got two laps to go. Maybe I can crack into the top 10. Not just be 10th, but be 9th. And, well, the 15, no different than the 17. And mind you, the 17, he did get wiped out. Someone finally just took him out, which is what you're going to get. Eventually, people are going to nudge you, people are going to rub you, people are going to say, I want to get out of the way. And if you don't get out of the way, eventually somebody's going to come along and take you out. So I'm trying to race the 15 fleeting here. Again, faster than the 15. All he wants to do is give me the outside. Fine, I'll take the outside. And what I'm going to try to do is set up to beat him to the inside of the corner. Coming off. White flag right here. I go in high again, let him dive down deep as much as he want, get a good run off the corner. And if I'm not mistaken, I set it up right here, going to three, high, get on the brakes. I'm gonna dive down into the gas. He didn't get his turn right, and I'm going to go lower than him. And I think I barely beat him to the line. A photo finish for ninth place there. And I suppose that's how you gotta deal with people that are blocking. Folks, if you're out there and you're blocking and you are considerably slower, someone gives you a bump, someone gives you two bumps, you need to get out of the way. Now, I might not dump you, but as the 17 learned, as he's coming into photo here, uh, you will get dumped and your race will be ruined. So, yeah, to the 17, whoever you are, dirty driver, man. I'm the Monday Morning Racer. Until next time, at the track, hopefully to film live racing at Cherokee Speedway.